In this video, we are going to look at the second part of question 22 from the 2018 Software Design and Development HSC exam. In the previous video, we looked at part A, uh, where we have this algorithm here, and we had to do a desk check on the algorithm uh, to test it and see what the result was. And the result was that there was an infinite loop in the algorithm. Okay, so in this part, part B, what we need to do is explain how breakpoints and single line stepping can, uh, how that they can be used to locate and confirm the source of the error. So let's have a quick look at the algorithm again. Uh, so we have function substring, which has three parameters, name, start, and finish, returns the portion of name from position start to position, position finish inclusive. If the value of finish is greater than the length of the name, then substring continues from the beginning of the name. So it just wraps around back to the start again. So for example, substring Barry uh, 3, 5. So uh, Barry is a, uh, uh, so parameters Barry 3 and 5, Barry for name, 3 for start and 5 for finish. That will return RRY. So characters 3 to 5 in the word Barry. Uh, substring Barry 3, 7. So providing Barry uh, uh, for the parameter name, three for the parameter start, and seven for the parameter finish, will return RRYBA. So it grabs characters three, four, and five, which are R, R, and Y, and then wraps around to the start again. So characters six and seven will be B and A, the first two characters in name. So we have the algorithm here, which um, basically has those three parameters there, name, start, and finish. We set length uh, or len to the number of characters in name. Now, when we tested this algorithm in the previous part of this question, part A, we were given uh, the value dog to use for the parameter name, uh, two for start and four for finish. Okay, so we were meant to get the last two characters of dog, so OG, and then it would get the first character uppercase D. So it should return O. G, D. All right. Um, so length would be three, three characters in name dog. We set the result to an empty string. And then while start is less than or equal to finish, we append start of the character of name to result. So if start was two, we'd append uh, the letter O in the word dog, the second character in dog, to result, add one to start, and then check if start is greater than length, set start to one. Uh, and then repeat the while loop and at the end of the while loop return the result. Okay, so in this algorithm when we desk checked it, we notice it would return O, uh, or it would, it would uh, append O to the end of result, which is the second character. And then because one was added to start when the loop repeated, um, it would get the third character of name, which is G, and add that to result. Then again, add one to start. When the loop repeated after that, uh, it would basically, uh, so if at, at this point, if the start was greater than the length, it was set start to one. So uh, once the fourth, we tried to get the fourth character, in a string that's only three characters long, it would set start to one. Okay, so as soon as one was added to start, it would set start back to one. Now that means that when the loop repeated, it would be getting the first character, uh, or character one, from name and adding that to result. So we'd have OGD. Problem is that this would keep repeating over and over again. So as soon as we get to the end of the string, start is set back to one um, because the because start has become greater than the length of the string and the loop just repeats endlessly so we have an infinite loop so it says the algorithm contains a logic error and does not always produce the expected result the problem was the infinite loop explain how breakpoints and single line stepping can be used to locate and confirm the source of the error so if you're not too sure what the error is Go back to the video uh, for part A and watch that first. 
But now we're going to explain how breakpoints and single line stepping could be used to reveal that there was an infinite loop and confirm the source of that error. So I'm going to use the sample answer provided from uh, for this question uh, and we'll work through this algorithm and, and identify how both breakpoints and single line stepping can help here. So breakpoints are useful when infinite loops occur. All right, so the execu execution of a loop such as in lines 40 to 100 it's here, the execution of loops such in, as in lines 41 to 100 can be interrupted so that the uh, variables can be inspected. Oops. So basically, if we use breakpoints, breakpoints are used in testing to stop uh, the code from executing or from running on specific lines. So we could say stop at line 40. We could then check what's the value of start, what's the value of finish, and then we could move on to line 50 and we could say stop here and uh, check the, the uh, value of the result variable and then move on to line 60 and line 70. We could check on line 70 what's uh, happening here and line 80 we could check uh, what's the value of start? What, uh, so basically, uh, when infinite loops occur, breakpoints allow us to stop uh, execution of a, of a loop and check uh, what are the values stored in those variables. Okay, so um, what this would show is that the loop never ends. because oops, on line 80, we set start back to one. So on line 80, start is set to one. And what that does is cause the while loop condition to always be true. So it always evaluates to true. Which means that the loop will always repeat. So as soon as start uh, is greater than the length, start is set back to one, which means when we go back to the top of this loop and check while start is greater than finish, Oh, sorry, while well, start is less than or equal to finish, uh, it, it's always going to be true. It's never going to evaluate to false, which means that there's an infinite loop. Now, it's important for start to be set to one when start is greater than length because uh, we, in, in this example where we're, um, and particularly this example here, where we want to get characters three to seven, if we reach the end of the string, we need to go back to the start of the string and continue getting more characters. Um, so that's why we have this line of code here that checks if start is greater than length, uh, then set start to one. That's important, but the code still needs to be modified to fix this infinite loop. And that's what we'll look at in the next part of this question. So we've looked at breakpoints that they, they allow us to pause or stop execution of a program to basically check what's going on, see what the, um, the variables values are and inspect those. We also have single line stepping that allows us to go through 
um, after we've stopped execution of the program, we can go through each individual line one by one, basically pause and play uh, execution of the program, uh, jumping line by line um, to, to check the contents of variables. So single line stepping. can show how the contents of variables change. With each individual line of code Okay, and that's demonstrating the unintended values of the variable start in this case. As start is constantly being set uh, back to one uh, over and over again as a, as the loop uh, causes start to eventually become greater than the length or len. Okay, so that's how breakpoints and single line stepping can be used to locate and confirm the source of the error in this algorithm and that particular error um, causes an infinite loop. So let's now um, move on to part C of this question. Uh, where we need to modify the algorithm so it produces the correct result. We're going to take a look at that in the next video. Thanks for watching.